and the beta is back. Fantastic. I've been dying. I didn't think we'd get another beta, and I'm extremely pleased that we have. So, I've just gone through the standard practice and the advanced practice to get my steel, which I will probably use to buy the championship status that I've mentioned in another video. Let's get rid of that bit. Um, so, you go to your profile, champion status, and you can get that, and you can get extra bonuses. So, I will. Oh, I've already made a video about that, you can go check that if you want to see it. And I apologise if I sound stuffly because I have not been well. Okay, so to get into multiplayer, I quite like the fact that you've actually got to fight an AI, the you know the commander of your faction, so let's get that Oh, that's not a good start. Okay, it is a beta, remember. The faction war is a persistent cross platform conflict between the knights, Vikings, and Samurai. The faction you've pledged allegiance to determines who you'll fight for in the faction war, but doesn't stop you from playing any available hero. The faction war englobes all multiplayer and bot activities. After each match, you will be awarded war assets based on your personal performance. You can deploy war assets to help conquer an enemy territory or defend one of yours against opposing factions. On a global level, the faction war is divided into territory updates, rounds, and seasons. Territory updates occur every six hours, while rounds last two weeks, and seasons last ten weeks. For each territory update, the faction with the most war assets on a specific territory controls it. The world map will display the new faction control territories and move the different fronts. Fronts will define which map you will play on. A map that was controlled by the knights and is now controlled by the samurai will have many visible changes. At the end of each round, players who participated will get a reward depending on the rank of their faction in that round. Once the season ends, everyone will get rewards depending on the rank of their faction. At the end of each season, the faction war is reset and will resume after an off-season period. The world will forever be impacted by what happened in the previous seasons of For Honor. Okay, I'm so glad that they actually put that video in, because that will explain it to a lot more people now. I managed to get the gist of it before by playing, obviously, but also by reading around the subject. And it's nice that now those that haven't done the extra kind of reading about it will understand the faction more a lot more. Okay, and my mouse has disappeared. There we go. Mouse is back. Um, looks like I'm not going to be able to defy that commander after all. But that's fine. I have 15 minutes before I have to go and feed my boy. So let's get a quick 1v1 in. Uh, let's see if there's any contract orders that will. Uh, no event on at the moment. Right, uh, we want duel. I just want a quick duel before I have to go and feed my son. Play versus player, I'm going straight into it. Let's see how rusty I am with not having played in a while we didn't have the beta to play with. Okay, looks like we've found a player to play against, so Kill Bill, by the look of it, is going to be my first opponent in this open beta. Right, Kill Bill. Oh, Crusader. I did not like fighting Crusaders. Let's see how we do. I also need to hope that my wife and my son don't walk in on me like they did just a few moments ago. So. Let's hope I can just get a few minutes to have a match. I need to. I'm gonna start with that. Okay. I've just messed that one up. I have to dodge this. Oh no, we cancelled it. Nicely played. Oh, guard breaks again are always my, my curse. There we go. Little cheeky one. I didn't think he'd expect me to do the same attack twice, so went for the head again. Oh, 
I won't get much time this weekend, unfortunately, to do a lot of recording. Um, so I'll try and record this and get this uploaded today, if possible. Um, Sunday will be my main day for playing this this week because uh, I'm very busy. So on Sunday I'll be taking part in um, for on a legend, I think it was the tournament that's going to be coming up. So I will record my comments on that, and I will hopefully get that uploaded over the uh, over the next week as I get time. But. I don't think I'm going to be able to record too much on, on uh, Friday and Saturday. In fact, Saturday I might be able to get the time in the afternoon uh, to get some gaming in. But it's going to be going to be tight trying to get the gaming in this week, the weekend even. Round three. Right. Let's see if I can try and get through. No. <laughs> I was just about to say, let's see if I can get through this fight without getting sucked by a guard break. I hadn't. <laughs> what happens? I try to fly without wings. Round four. Nice and done kill though. Alright. Why are you gonna go for the guard break again? Am I actually gonna be able to kill do? Nice block. I've got to stop going high all the time. That was not what I meant to do. Oh, guard break again. Oh, I should have. <laughs> I didn't expect to get the deflect then. And therefore, I didn't react quick enough to curse myself for it. Right, there we go. Nicely done, and that was a nice, quick entrance back into the beta before I go and spin out. So, after dinner and back in my little boy and put him to bed, hopefully, I'll be able to get on tonight and get some gaming done. But it is so nice to have the beta back. I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to watch my video. It certainly means a lot to me personally. I hope you enjoyed what you saw, and if you've got any feedback, then feel free to leave a comment to let me know so that I can improve myself in the future. If you'd like to see more, then it's certainly a great incentive for me if I can see likes and subscriptions on my channel because it means I'm doing something right. Stick with me, and I'll endeavour to create more videos to keep you entertained and to keep you informed on games like For Honor and any other games that pique my interest. A small clip will follow to promote my small business venture, uh, just in case any of you are interested. But for now, take care, have fun, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Hi, I'd like to introduce you to my small business venture, Tormented Doodles. If high contrast designs catch yours or your friend's eyes, then hopefully Tormented Doodles will be of interest to you. Mainly inspired by tribal black and white designs, I create doodles as a hobby and then digitize them so that I can then share them with you. Currently, my designs are available on merchandise via Redbubble and Threadless and will expand in future. You can find links to both my online shops via my website www.tormenteddoodles.co.uk Thank you for your time and I hope you can find something to suit your taste. Enjoy browsing, and please feel free to provide feedback via the contact form on my website.